Justin Johnson, a.k.a. drag superstar Alyssa Edwards, is no stranger to the spotlight, strutting into our lives and our hearts as the funny, sassy, and multi-layered performer on RuPaul's Drag Race. Now, our favorite drag queen is stepping out solo as the star of Dancing Queen, which premieres October 5th on Netflix, and follows Johnson as he juggles dancing, family, and life. Take a look. Mom is back. Talk about a dream come true. Talk about a dream that is truly reality. I am the Ron Dom Diva of the South, Melissa Edwards. Well, my given name is Justin Dwayne Lee Johnson. Not only am I the owner, but I'd like to say I'm the artistic director of Beyond Belief Dance Company, celebrating 14 years of excellence. It can be difficult being a gay man. Why did you tell me that my life was an abomination? Prepare yourself. It's about to go down. Don't cry till we get in the car. You have no idea what I do for my daughter. Miss Thing, take a seat. No, ma'am. The power of drag is giving someone the courage. The wig is the cape to a superhero. Did somebody call for a professional? Oh! Each and every one of these kids were born into a royal family. I hope to help them in finding their own crown. Because mine's staying on my head. Did I just hear my name come out your mouth? <laughs> Everyone, please give a warm Bill Bunch welcome to Justin Johnson. Hey, Woo! Woo! Hello, hello, hello. Justin, thank you so, so much for being here. We're big fans. Um, you, this show follows, you run this dance company called the Beyond Belief Dance Company in Texas. Yes. Can you tell us how this show came to be? Well, if you would have asked me, like, 10 years ago, did I think that this would be my life? I would say absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> um, going on Drag Race was something that was kind of like, hey, this could be a good idea for you, almost like a dare. I was like, okay, I'll send in a tape. So I made a little audition tape, and I gotta tell you what I said in uh, my opening statement, because me and Rue just talked about this. <laughs> uh -huh. I was like, um, Rue, if you can find another cross-dresser in the United States of America that can slay me, I'll give you $100,000. Okay. <laughs> and I didn't do any of the criteria to get on the show. And the next thing you know, I got on the series. And uh, from that, World of Wonder was yeah. more intrigued about my dance school. And I was like, OK, you guys can come I, and, and film. But you got to stay in the corner. you got to stay far out of my way, because I get sometimes too excited, and I don't want to be distracted. Long story short, uh, this you know sizzle reel came out. and. It started getting pushed, and people started calling and inquiring. Mm -hmm. But I was adamant that I didn't want to kind of be like a situation that was too reality TV mm -hmm. produced. Mm -hmm. And Netflix was like, what about a docu-cell? Right. And I was like, I'm sold. I'm all for it. I can authentically be myself. Uh, unapologetically, mm -hmm. I am every day. And you know, I look at this trailer, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a hallmark of my life. Right. Yeah. So it's, it, it's super exciting. Yeah, you're not exploiting anyone. It's really about you, how you are helping these kids and teaching them and making them into performers. Oh, absolutely. See, the thing is, um, I've had the studio now for 15 years. Mm -hmm. um, these children are all very hopeful to mm -hmm. one day work in the professional industry and arena. And I, I'm a very tough love coach. And I, I want to share the gift. I think it's a gift of being a teacher with these kids and, and my experiences. So. I don't think that this is definitely going to be any of that, you know. And we have we have all we have those shows, mm -hmm. right. so there's a place for that. Yeah. I wanted something that was um, artistic, something dance really. It 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 really changed my life right. because I was a very if you can believe this sitting up here in all this today, <laughs> I was a very introverted little gay boy in Mesquite, Texas, mm -hmm. and this was before the Google search engine and all that I just told you on my age. I'm not old, I'm established. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I remember going to my first dance class where I didn't have to speak. Mm. I, I spoke through the art of movement, mm -hmm. you know, through uh, all, of, all of the emotions I was feeling on the inside. I was able to convey uh, through steps. Mm -hmm. And these, uh, the greatest stories told to me are through the art of dance and movement. And um, I, I, I wanted to. I wanted to give that to uh, my students. 
exactly. So what are some of the classes that the, the kids take? And was it hard to get the parents on board, or was everybody really in for this? I think, well, they, they, they all, they're, they're studying. You know, A lot of my uh, high schoolers go to Booker T. Washington High School mm -hmm. for the visual and performing arts. And you know, so they're not only studying at the studio, but they're also at school. But contemporary ballet, jazz, uh, hip hop, we're doing uh, master classes and workshops and teachers all the time in and out. So they're there at the studio at least four days a week. Getting the parents to understand what this is about, mm -hmm. I think all of them were like, uh, we're not going to do no pyramids. And, <laughs> you know, what is this going to be, Justin? Like, but, and I'm like, here's the thing. I am going to allow this camera crew to sit in the corner mm -hmm. and just to follow the journey. Right. What really goes on here at Beyond Belief. And we're a very competitive company. And everything in Texas is bigger. The personalities, right. the hair, <laughs> uh, the dance moms. Yes. Um, oh. You know, and then there's me in the middle of it all. <laughs> so I feel like the greatest showman. But yeah. <laughs> I think that they were all very pretty chill with mm -hmm. it. Good. Mm -hmm. I think everybody's nervous now to see it. Because they're like, what am I going to look like? What, you know, because it's going to show the good, the bad, the right, the wrong, the indifferent. But above all, this is a triumphant story. And um, I, I found my purpose early on. And I started sharing that. And I'm looking at that. And I'm seeing it right now. Again, there's so much passion. Right. And above all, heart. Mm -hmm. And that's what this series is going to be. So how important is it to you to have your dance company in Texas? Because now you're, you have a huge platform. You could literally do this anywhere around the world if you wanted to. But it seems like Texas is where you're from. And I think representation there is very important. So could you speak to that? I mean, absolutely. Because, see, like I said earlier, the thing is, being one of seven mm -hmm. not, and, and not a lot of uh, opportunity for my family to travel me to a high volume competitive dance school, I made a, like a promise to myself, you stay here, Miss Key, because there's another little Justin mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that might not have the opportunity. Um, and we're a little edgy for Miss Key. Can, <laughs> can you imagine me rolling up in all this? <laughs> and uh, I didn't want to change who I was. I made the people change mm -hmm. and understand. And now they all appreciate and celebrate. So that's the beauty of it all. Yeah. yeah, I really respect you so much for doing Thank that because a lot of people, they make it and they just like leave. Yeah. And they forget about others and you're, I just really love that. Well, I think I'm a, a hometown guy yeah. and I'm, very, I'm, a, I'm a proud Texan mm -hmm. um, and Texas has really embraced me. You know, there was a period in my life where I was um, confused. I didn't know what, where I was going, what was what, up or down, mm -hmm. left or right right or left, mm -hmm. and I think the people there, they really built me up, mm -hmm. and um, that's my family. Mm -hmm. so, so I mean, I enjoy traveling. This was asked to me yesterday. DragCon was a huge event, yeah. Yeah. and someone said, do you love it here in New York City? And I said, they're like, we the people here, they love you. You should come more often, you should live here. You know, you could do something here, and I'm like, oh, I love coming to the city for two days, three yeah. days. <laughs> this is overwhelming. You know, I can leave my house at 10 p.m. and go to Brahms ice cream <laughs> that's 10 miles away and be back at my house in uh, 10 minutes, yeah. right. literally. So <laughs> this is a lot. This yeah. is a lot to take in. But I will tell you, every time I leave here, I leave inspired. Right. You know, it's in the air, in the energy, and people are on the hustle, and they're yeah. on the go. They're making dreams come true, and I love all that. And you get to take that back to your students. I, absolutely, yeah. you know, but that's why I got my red shoes on today, exactly. because there's no, like <laughs> there's no Bye -bye. place like home. There's no place. And, uh, you, you know, it, after, after traveling all around the world, and I come home from tour, I, I, I roll up, I pass the Mesquite Rodeo, and I'm like, this is home. Huh. Yeah. This is home. I, 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 just, I just purchased a house. You'll see all this mm -hmm. on the series. And um, you know, it's a cute little gated community. <laughs> and on Sundays, I come, I, I come rolling in. I got my windows down. All my neighbors around us are very family oriented. They're all waving. They're like, that's Justin the Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know, I'm waving to everybody. Like, so uh, I, I'm very happy. 
I'm very happy. That's awesome. I love that. I love that you're changing. You're, you're evolving with your home and you're making it a better place. Justin, thank you so, so much for being here. This is an absolute pleasure. Really. Thank you all.